friends in uk sky has effectively turned set of boxes into local ad servers this will require a greater pull on personal data one of the biggest drivers of deeper tv personalization will be advertisers now how can artificial intelligence and machine language be tapped to offer a new type of enhanced entertainment experience how can broadcasters offer deep personalization without alternating customers or disrespecting privacy so industry is trying to find solutions to these challenges and we are trying to get the answers let's have a thorough discussion and i take this opportunity to introduce you with our panel of speakers starting with mr navin chandra who is the founder and ceo 91 film studios we have mr rabindra narain md and president ptc network we have mr ram saip panchapakesan senior vice president and national head media buying zenith we have mr vinith karnik business head entertainment sports and live events group m and last but not the least i would like to welcome our session chair ms shanta saikia who is the editor in chief of adgili over to you shanta ma'am great so uh, mr navin chandra mr ravindra narayan mr ramsai panchapakishan we had an interaction earlier also in one of the forums earlier uh, mr vinith karnik a very warm welcome to this session on future of tv thank you future of tv creating more immersive experiences so as uh, we were discussing earlier you know how uh, personalization uh, offering a more immersive experience is going to uh, lend uh, you know give a fresh lease of life to television which is uh, otherwise turning out to be quite a boring uh, medium as of now the gc space is losing out audiences we have seen overall tv viewership also uh, falling and uh, you know there is a greater and faster shift now towards uh, ott sector so am i amid all this you know how tv can maintain its relevance how the entire scenario can be changed or turned around for television so my first question today here is uh, you know with the arrival of on demand video uh, how you know the consumer behavior has changed drastically the content consumption patterns has uh, they have also changed and uh, tv definitely will need to evolve as a personalized experience and this personalized personalization is set to go wider and deeper so with the evolution of tv this is going to you know intensify in the coming years so um mr karnik uh, i would like to start with you uh, since uh, group m does a lot of uh, research uh, in you know different media platforms uh media spends perspectives ad spends perspectives so how do you see the overall evolution of television in the next 2 3 years yeah okay so so uh, look uh, tv is definitely while everybody is uh, discounting tv and saying tv is uh, gone and you are losing audiences see i think what has happened is uh, there is a shift in the way audiences are consuming content right so uh, we need to we need the narrative needs to be told in the right way i mean so therefore i'm just trying to set up the whole thing in terms of the narrative i don't think tv is going anywhere okay uh, traditionally the way we were used to consume television was uh, like an appointment kind of a viewing where you need to catch up with a program at one particular time right now that will still be relevant for some site some kind of content but what will happen is the experience is going to become very personalized as you said immersive so one size fits all will change into a two way delivery kind of a mechanism because what used to happen we used to have a remote in hand whatever was shown to us we we were seeing it at best we had a remote control where we could change channels but it was still a one way uh, communication right now that will change to a more immersive maybe two way or a three way kind of a communication and that's where connected tv uh, comes into play so content will still serve the pipe to be to serve the content will be digital and therefore with with 5g and with fiber optics coming in you have bandwidth which will allow you allow consumers to interact with with uh, content and therefore uh, uh, the people who are serving the content so so i think the narrative about tv is going anywhere is not that i mean i am not a 
great believer of that because yeah while 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 india is a mobile first market and most people consume digitized content on mobile i think somewhere the shift will happen where connected tvs will will play a huge role in terms of serving content serving ads uh, uh, which are more personalized more geographically aligned uh, more relevant i would say yeah uh, so that's the way i would set it up uh, in terms of the way we are seeing the trends uh, panning out right thank you mr kanik so tv is not going anywhere uh, mr panchpaki sir zenith also comes out with a lot of industry study on you know different media uh, perspectives how different media are performing the aspects happening across so how do you uh, visualize the future for television in the next 2 3 years how do you see it evolving yeah uh, thanks uh, saika so there is one point is very actually uh, clear uh, in in our mind that you know the tv will still stay relevant mm-hmm. so why we say this is that it's a, uh, the landscape of india is still evolving when you actually go beyond your uh, uh, metro or the uh, urban markets right the penetration of uh, television one end it is still happening the other end it has actually saturated and evolving to a different ways and means of you know consuming the con- uh, content as i actually second the thought of uh, uh, vinith what he said is yes, the uh, television is still there it is actually getting segregated the homes are getting segregated we had uh, i am just quoting the number of bark here where uh, 210 uh, 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 million tv households where we have actually seen that you know it is gradually reducing from a uh, cable connection point when you actually segregate them post your uh, nto announcement and all there is a high definition channel gone are those days where you know you used to uh, one used to get high definition and standard definition at one go at the cost of you know standard definition only today a consumer has an uh, uh, opportunity to choose whether he wants to watch high definition and standard definition that's how the biggest shift of you know the Uh, uh segregation has happened where the uh, you know uh, households have actually got segregated from a standard definition to an high definition moving from a high definition to a uh, next level is what the connected tv has actually emerged into a uh, picture that is also because of the fact that the uh, affordability and the pricing strategy in terms of the internet availability all these things actually came into a group play and it has actually made the consumer to actually go for the uh, upgrade of their uh, you know even the uh, i definition i definitions are the one which is actually prone to you know to the connected tvs uh, victims is what i would uh, uh, you know see here and people have started you know getting the uh, smart tvs to home that's where the consumption is happening now uh, the the two way communication has started you know uh, happening there and second point <clears throat> what i have actually uh, you know uh, i i would like to quote an example of you know uh, queen elizabeth's uh, uh, demise right where mm-hmm. you know the whole world has actually tuned into television Jeez. that's where you know uh, uh, the tv will for for real time viewing uh, reality sense for news viewing tv will definitely stay relevant because india as a market today we have seen that from a 3 4 news channel market to a today we are operating close to 50 plus news channels are operating in india and they have their own uh, you know uh, uh, loyal uh, viewers to actually patronize their uh, channel and hence uh, uh, definitely it is going to stay relevant in in our life for next 3 uh, to 4 years right excellent uh, mr narayanan you mr narayan you can uh, probably give us a perspective from a broadcaster's point of view um how ptc network how do you uh, view the future of uh, television see television ultimately is a screen where you see content and in india even now the majority of household tv viewing is a community viewing or a family viewing or a you view your screen your programs your content on tv along with family or friends hmm. it's it's very rare you'll find some series or something which you want to enjoy yourself so that is what you will take to the other room tv or your laptop or your mobile content was always the king content will remain king medium of delivery the modes of delivery keep on changing but there is no cause of alarm tv is not going anywhere earlier it was getting signal from antenna which was the rooftop then it started getting through cable 
then came dth now our connected t's will it evolving will be chrome ka be apple they'll be oil ka whatever cost tv will remain a screen a smaller or bigger it'll remain and always if you're producing good content it will obtain which me the viewer is using to consume you however the coming of ott has opened up window to those creators who were not getting a, a debut or not getting their work to go to public because of monopoly of certain corporate houses or production houses suddenly it has opened up there are if you have merit in your product there is some taker somewhere who will take you uh, it, it, the onslaught of online consumption streaming platforms ott has been a boon to artists who no longer have to go to a music company or or for that matter to a tv channel they don't need to break their song on a tv channel they can just go to youtube they can just go to streaming platform and get their uh, video released there and get their fans onto them directly so the medium are changing opportunities are coming however tv will remain tv it is a screen it remains where it is it will remain where it is the content on it there will be multiple sources now coming in with content and viewer always had a remote always had a button choose what they want to see for broadcasters the key is if you give more than television if you can become part of the daily life of your audience of your target audience if you can cater to their all demands of information entertainment whatever they need you are relevant if you're not you'll fall way wayside there is no compulsion now for the viewer to watch you unless you're giving them relevant content that's the only change nothing has changed for tv absolutely so you've made a very strong and affirmative uh, case there for television and its future uh, mr chandra uh, you being part of the content uh, side of the picture so mr narayan and in fact uh, mr panchpakeshan mr karnik they have also stressed on the content part of it so how do you see content propelling uh, television you know into uh, being more relevant in future times as well how do you see this content scenario on television evolving because right now ott content is stealing a march over everything else so do you think television content is going to match up to that can match up to that mr chandra hello hello can you hear me hey. yes we can yes we can hear yeah i'm saying in essence uh, you know india will remain a multi segment country for a long long time hmm. right all segments are going to coexist i mean just like even today you still have 10 rupees ka chai and you have a 1000 rupee ka chai uh, hmm. being served uh, in the same city pretty much in the same locality but different vendors you will continue to have different kinds of content <laughs> all through so that i don't think is going away we are not a uniform market at all every 2 3 hundred kilometers the market changes we are as heterogeneous uh, you know as 10 times europe maybe right and we'll continue to do that now by the time data catches up and creates individual niches which are large enough to be addressed yeah you know, i think television will have a very long run i still find a lot of new television channels being launched i mean star just launched a marathi movie channel i mean when you have on demand movies on your ott platforms why would you want a movie channel why would you want a 24 by 7 movie channel running linearly with advertising right sun launched a bengali uh, movie channel z has launched a malayalam a general entertainment channel so i think in the last 3 4 years there has been at least the 25 to 30% growth in number of television channels itself forget about you know what's happening in the ott front on the ott front on the other hand i believe their biggest challenge is discovery you don't even know what content runs where till somebody recommends you and that also is you know few and far between so we will be a market of niches some will be very large niches some will be small niches some will be so large they will not even be called niches uh, i mean to give an example for instance if you if you just fundamentally look at uh, you know general entertainment channel right there were three or four gcs that ruled the roost in india maybe the ratings have come down but they still the number 3 4 gc all around they keep innovating creating new content uh, programming is getting better uh, but the way you consume content you want to see 
uh, a thirty a story in thirty seconds through an ad. You want to see a story in two or two and a half hours in a film. You want to see a story in sixteen seventeen hours in OTT, or you want to see a story in hundred hundred fifty hours in television. Right? It's the way you tell a story that will never change. And because there are fundamentally so many ways of telling a story, you will always have mediums in which that story will be told. So cinema theaters will not shut down, television will not shut down, uh, OTT platforms will not shut down, uh, mobile phones will not shut down. Nothing will change. I mean, everything will just consume. It's, it's a question of finding your groove. I believe we are still in early days in India, especially of con- consumption. The pandemic has preempted some of this and brought a lot of. uh you know new audiences to the fore to experiment to adapt some will stay some will go away some some are already tired uh there are some people sometimes like me who spend 45 minutes looking for what to watch on netflix and then you know give it up uh you know so so there is all kinds of forces at play right now but in the future in the long run i think all uh, all forms of content uh, will coexist you will consume what you want in the device of your choice and how you want it now if you are an individual otd is driven largely by individual consumption my tastes in the family are very unique from the other three four members in the family each one of them has very individual and unique tastes none of us can come together and watch an ott program together we generally don't agree however there are some tv shows that some of them can come together and watch there are some channels that you know we are driven together to watch together uh, so i think that will happen mobile phones are individual uh, television is is collective uh, cinema is social so i think all of this will coexist uh, nothing is a threat to anyone it's a process of evolution uh, and it's a question of how you want to tell your story i mean essentially if you have a story uh, and the best way to tell the story is in you know is in two and a half hours you should make a film if you have 100 hours to tell the story go and make television the more compelling your content audience will come there i don't think people will classify themselves as saying no i'm ott person i'm a tv person i don't think that will ever happen uh viewership may dip or rise depending on what is on tv you know when when the world cup is happening uh, football world cup is happening when the cricket world cup is happening i think everybody's on television uh, mm-hmm. you want to watch it linearly you want to watch it with the commentary it is not a great experience watching it on ott because on ott you don't get the surround sound that television gives you right those panel discussions the data the statistics and all the ott ott gives you you know just the blunt coverage of the match which is not exciting whereas television gives you the full surround sound it's like you are in the stadium you feel it you feel the excitement you feel all of that there's commentary there's another the things that television gives you that ott can't give you so while you may watch it on ott for convenience you will return to some matches back to television i mean that experience can't go away similarly news i mean like we just discussing i think <coughs> Uh, the coronation and all of that is news i mean you'll go back to linear television uh, not only because it is more trustworthy i mean you tend to believe that linear news channels are slightly more trustworthy than something online which may require verification you will go back to tv so tv will have its own i think its own space which will be large enough i mean 210 million households is greater than population of 150 countries or or 200 countries maybe you know it's a large number and even if you have a 10 million niche or a 15 million niche it's a very good niche you can serve the niche for uh, you know a decade or more and there may be more devices that will come more ways to consume this content there may be more people are working on so many different modes uh, but i think whether artificial intelligence or whichever medium you use or how you want to customize content there will always be a play there will always be a good niche large enough for you to serve i mean that's what i believe in. Right. In fact, I have. Yeah, here. I'm sorry. I'll just add here. The sure. key to success here will be to uh, somehow achieve a combination of delivery mediums so that your content goes to every possible audience. I'll give an example. We now launch a web series on TV, then put it on our OTT so that it resides there for somebody who wants to do a binge watch or somebody wants to watch it on their own convenience. So somebody wants to watch it week to week. by appointment 7 pm i i am free i'll watch it on tv with my family later on i missed a few episodes i don't want to go back to tv in the afternoon on this i'll go to my ott catch up from there or i want to catch up all 10 episodes together i'll watch on ott together so the content if it is good it'll get consumed wherever you deliver by the audience which is consuming it at that particular point of time or at their convenience you have to marry all the mediums and 
put your content wherever possible so that you achieve maximum reach and with bark now coming up with idea of having digital trp mapping mm. which we have been pursuing them that we are ready to give a linear feed also on digital mode on ott all our programs will carry watermark so that you can measure the total reach of a program through various mediums the day that happens you'll see there will be a win win for everyone so shanta couple of points couple of points are coming out of this conversation which i thought are interesting to say it in a little different way so what are what are we eventually what are we saying we are saying two things or maybe couple three things okay one is today a consumer and audience can actually choose which channel he wants to watch in and when does he want to watch so today from the point of a subscription model which was monthly okay today you possibly can uh, have a subscription for a daily based uh, on a daily basis right and and those models will change now from a daily perspective there is i think i somewhere can imagine or visualize a, a, a time when you, when pay per view could come into play in a country like india because it's such a depth uh, we have in this country that why should i subscribe only per month if i want to watch one day some show i should be able to watch it and i'm sure uh, broadcasters and streaming platforms will be considering this as an option that at some point in time will be served to the audience that's one okay navin made a very interesting point on the way the length of of storytelling and the and the style of storytelling will change see with connected tv coming in and 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 we all collectively agree that tv is not going anywhere okay based on that theory when connected tv comes into play your power to the consumer just catapults we always said consumer is the king content content is the king right but the, but the power that a consumer has today is multifold beyond the remote control right it's far more powerful than what it was earlier so today i think we are at a cup cusp of a of a of a, of a, a scenario where multiple things story will have to be told in a very different way because the younger generation does not have a patience to watch even a 13 sec- 30 sec- uh, minutes episode the short format videos look at today otts they have started short stories there are 15 minute or content there is a 17 minute or there is a 30 minute or netflix has a 45 minute or show eight eight part series or whatever so multiple changes will keep on happening technology will will go beyond our imaginations in time to come today with uh, with the so called uh, web 3.0 and and metaverse the way we we say i think the experience with uh, with immersive experiences and uh, and hardware that will come into play uh, wearables i mean is going to be phenomenal so i think i think because the subject is television i think the focus should be television is here to stay the content and distribution platforms and subscription models will keep evolving according to me on a on a six monthly basis six monthly basis yeah okay. at least i mean if not more Yeah, I mean, Vinit is Vinit is taking a risk now. It could be one month. It could be fifteen days. I mean, it's just absolutely. We just absolutely. don't know. Technology can just come and. Did just we ever imagine? Back. Did we ever imagine Netflix launching a one forty nine pack mm. for mobile only pack? I mean, Correct. that's a that's a phenomenal change in my view. They came with with such an expensive uh, subscription plan uh, because they also realized that somewhere had to democratize the content piece, and that's exactly what they have done. It's worked for them. Also, also Netflix is considering uh, investing A-Bot. into television. Television broadcast. Yeah. No, Award is passe. Passe. Mm. I'm talking about television broadcasting in France. Then they may yeah. look at television broadcasting in Vietnam. Uh, soon they may have a channel. They are Vietnam. also con- they, they are also considering the Award platform. The I mean, Correct. right? No, Award. Award is uh, Award is done because Award is is old yeah. news. I'm talking about television yeah. now. So when Netflix right. comes with television product, where they say, "All right, here's linearly you can watch it now." So what 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 they call binge. they will actually now start putting linearly saying okay 7 o'clock in the morning on sunday you start watching this content goes all the way through it's part of your television pack so there are you know this is the start of the uh, this is like they say the end of the beginning right it is uh, the end of the beginning i think it starts now and the game is a long haul game as long as you are as long as a television defines for itself uh, you know while people don't know but if you analyze star z sony color sahara all of them over a period of time defined the niches of programming they were all different programming people didn't know but if you look at it if you define your niche saying this is a niche i'm going to serve 
there will be a large enough niche for television to serve for a long time to come that's the i think that's the point how did we evolve so we had weekly shows right weekly changes to daily correct. okay correct today today daily changes to binge i mean people are putting in everything in one go watch eight episodes correct. all in yeah correct. so correct. i mean this is all evolution because consumers audiences are wanting more right correct also the, and also we still also I, I believe also i believe we still talk we still talk about 20% of the audiences as a representative right there is 80% of the audiences who may not get to 5g in a hurry who may not even get to 4g in a hurry uh, so there are still a large market that still is waiting for good content to be served on television i think that will continue to be the case right. i'll good our example here mm-hmm. in the 90s we started broadcast from golden temple gurbani it used to be recorded you would see today's gurbani 7 days later then came live you could see it live on your tv and mm-hmm. now for the last 4 years we are broadcasting it in 360 degree virtual reality you wear a headgear and you can actually feel that you are in the golden temple watching the gurbani so the content remains the same the mode of delivery the technology makes it more immersive more captivating and for the audience to consume it the way they want to you want to watch it on tv it's there you want to watch it on your youtube it's there you want to watch it on your facebook it's there and if you want to feel how the atmosphere is how it is happening real time in that place just put your head gears on and your body and mind will tell you that you are sitting there and listening to it live live it's a very important point see we talked about remote right look at this is one piece of content you can consume in multiple ways yeah I, shanta so i i have to sort of uh, jump off here uh, mm-hmm. i had a hard stop uh, I, okay. I, i i hope it's okay it's fine i think it is good interesting to sort of look at What? television Absolutely. but yeah my, my last comment very... is it's not going anywhere television not going anywhere it's here to stay for a very long time yeah right that's a very positive note to end on uh, mr chanda so we'll catch up with you on uh, you. further communications elsewhere right um, right thank you ಹೌಟ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಕ್
forever which means the sports content is going to be made available to them uh, throughout at a free of cost that is also is actually going to you know build a uh, 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 content in these sports audiences in these sports uh, marketing uh, uh, or sports viewing platform that's what and the second point is uh, when we talk about uh, the personalization it is also to do with the distribution right uh, if we would have noticed uh, the recent developments uh, the linear television and the dth operators they've started actually bundling their linear as well as the ott content together as a internet play tata sky is a best example that they've actually already started and they've started getting the tractions where you know you will be uh, uh, service you will be getting the linear television also and the ott platforms also and this is the uh, way to go to actually that's where we all you know strongly felt that the, the linear tv here to stay and that's why it it will not actually uh, uh, you know vanish in the near uh, future this in your opening note you have also said that the television is losing the viewership see there are two points here one is you know losing the viewership other one is losing the time spent so when we have the higher time spent on the television the viewership continue to grow there the the time spent is actually becoming a uh, uh, very meager uh, because the people are back into their uh, uh, normalcy lifestyle uh, where you know the content consumption earlier it used to happen throughout a day now it is happening at a very particular uh, pace of time maybe morning or evening right and the rest of the time they are actually doing the catch up tv or the ott or the online streaming that's still the the viewership is happening the data is getting reported but the unified data is missing for us uh, where once we find the unified currency of or unified mechanism of you know reporting the data we will see that this numbers have actually grown exponentially so hence the viewership is not falling is what uh, uh, my opinion the fourth point is all the television players today as vinith has actually mentioned that you know uh, where the content has started from a day to a two day to a three day now today a uh, star network what the star plus channel has done they made their content available the fiction shows for all seven days which was a very recent uh, uh, movement that they've done which means what which means there is a demand in the market there is a way to monetize also in the market that is where you know they are actually filling that gap of you know not the drop in viewership uh, in terms of the time spent once we spend time then you are gaining the viewership and then you are been uh, uh, able to view the uh, sorry uh, burn more money on the impressions that we serve on the television uh, as well as the uh, streaming online uh, videos right right so what to it you know the technology is coming where you can have ad markers so my linear feed will have different ad breaks my ott feed will have different ad breaks my facebook feed will have different ad breaks and youtube will have different ad breaks and in future all these ad break ad breaks will be highly localized so a man sitting in jalandhar will be watching ads belonging to his city running on a particular channel so much localization will happen in the very near future and with the government opening up and the, the now modifying policies the day they ask channels to stop broadcasting on satellite and use fiber or use uh, streaming devices to deliver their signals a sea change will happen in terms of ad delivery content delivery beams delivery a lot of things will change right you know i've come across something very interesting uh, like in uk uh, you have these major pay tv and cable operators such as sky virgin uh, talk talk bt sport and you know they have found ways to personalize their content management screens and in order to achieve a higher level of personalization a uh, pay tv provider like sky has uh, effectively turned set top boxes into local ad servers so do you see such uh, technologies uh, you know making their way into india anytime soon and uh, what would be the challenges and opportunities here see the technology exists technology still exists in india the set top boxes capable of delivering personalized content exist mm -hmm. the trouble is the content delivery mechanism the broadcasters the people who are making the content still are glued only to linear delivery of content to single broadcast beam owing to the government regulations you have to have a license you have to have a uplinking downlinking so single beam goes the day the government modifies it and you can have different beams as many beams as you want 
it will all change in uk uh, it is being done very successfully in manchester the sky has capability to deliver ads only for manchester mm -hmm. and those ads are delivered not on linear tv they're delivered on vod content the vod content you see on sky on this or the sky glass that content has localized advertising as per the set top box location so the ad servers identifies this is the location and serves those ads which are booked for that location only so with the recent uh, uh, you know amendments in the uplinking and downlinking guide, guide, uh, guidelines of the government even with that uh, such such kind of uh, no, delivery mechanism multiple, is not possible. multiple signal delivery of a channel is still not allowed you still, still have allowed. mode of delivery still have satellite okay. in fact the government should ban use of satellite it's a precious bandwidth the army needs it, the weather guys need it, the communication guys need it, all that brand which should be freed up. The channel should be allowed to use fiber, broadband, content delivery has changed. I can just send an RTMP link to every cable operator and it'll be able to stream my channel. So the government has to fast track its policy to enable broadcasters to give multiple feeds to multiple operators in a localized sort of manner. Right. So I think we are running short of time. Uh, Mr. Karnik, any closing uh, words that you have? No, in, I mean, absolutely valid and interesting points made. So very clearly from a, from a topicality perspective, I mean, uh, very clearly everybody on the panel uh, unanimously and with conviction agrees that TV is here to stay. The, the models will change. The, the delivery mechanisms will change. Uh, technology is here to, uh, to disrupt. Uh, all our thinkings and and as everyone said that today uh, you can ima you imagine what you want and you can do it i mean i will just extend one thing i mean um, uh, the technology is going to be so savvy that uh, two people watching uh, the same program in the same household on two different screens will be served different ads so while we are saying hyper local uh, i mean this is personalized to another level imagine Absolutely same house okay two different screens watching same piece of content but two different ad advertising service depending upon what what i consume so that it i think exciting times absolutely very very interesting and uh ramsai made a very valid point and ramsai absolutely uh i mean the, the way tata sky has has evolved over the years and the way they have come up with a, a combination of linear plus digital uh and the packages they have Created with Prime Video and and Netflix into it, I think it's it's fantastic, and yeah. and that's and and that's the that's to me uh, the future. So I mean, all these I mean, why are we talking about TV? Tata Sky is here to stay, Airtel is here to stay, DTH is here to stay. So yeah, it, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. I I just yes. want to add only one point here. Everything comes on the back of funding, right, uh, Shanta? You know, mm. uh, personalization is what? The more you personalize, the more the mm. most the cost you incur. Absolutely. So uh, look at uh, today's uh, 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 the population size of UK. The population size of UK is uh, just uh, 67.2 million. Wherein if you look at their ad sales revenue, there is it is close to uh, 49.3 uh, billion uh, USD uh, currency. Look at vis-a-vis uh, -vis in our country, uh, in India. So we have a 13.9 billion population, whereas our ad sales uh, revenue, which happens is uh, just uh, 1.3, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 1.3 billion population. Our ad sales revenue is 13.9 uh, only, which is just, you know, US is spending whatever the money they are spending, just the 5% of India's population, whereas the amount is almost four times higher. And, and if you look at their GDP also, uh, US and India is almost similar in terms of GDP. They are 3.3 trillion uh, GDP uh, country and we are 3.4 uh, trillion GDP. That's what in, in USD currencies. So everything you know comes at the back of the uh, uh, funding also. India is largely driven by efficacy standards. Anything that works efficiently, that is what the success metrics for India. So we are still, you know, evolving in terms of, you know, reaching to that personalization. And as uh, Mr. Aaron and Vinik uh, uh, had said, we have all the technologies. We need more money to infuse into the market. And then the, the capability or the purchase power 
has to increase in, in indian market that's that's what you know is happening gradually now and i think we will soon uh, reach there see we have democratized data okay we are on the verge of democratizing content we are the cheapest data market perhaps one of the cheapest in the world we are perhaps the cheapest media economy in the world okay so we so indian models are different india believes in democratizing content india believes in democratizing data and that's the right way also i believe because we are a 130 crore population right i mean you and everybody can't afford the premium attached to a subscription of any uh, channel or a, or a platform or a service so therefore our the way we consume thing we are so our mobile penetration is the highest in the world but our data is the cheapest right yeah so our consumption is the highest so so what typically happens the revenues that we would write on data per capita would be low but if you look at collectively it will be a very very high number because more and more people are consuming it so that's so the west is a premium market we are a democratized market that's the way i would put it yeah absolutely yeah right. we already there in terms of personalization we are already there if i have to say that that 67 means we are already there 50 million connected tvs right mm -hmm. that itself actually tells us that you know we are already equivalent to uh, uh, uk market in terms of you know uh, delivering the personalized content but now from here whatever is going to grow is what our growth uh, uh, in terms of you know uh, uh, moving uh, ahead in terms of you know service servicing the personalized uh, uh, content to the consumers right so mr narayan i guess let's end this discussion with the broadcaster's perspective here see my perspective remains keep creating original captivating immersive and good quality content medium of delivery the mode of delivery the way you get it consumed will keep on changing you have to be quick enough to ride on every wave that comes your way ott facebook twitter instagram snapchat youtube whatever comes your way you should be quick enough to ride on that to reach newer audiences newer pastures and keep expanding your horizon always create good content it will find market we have 19 beams of ptc going to different parts of the world and wherever we go we create localized content in our canada beam the can the 30% of that beam content is produced in canada we are the only indian channel which has a studio in canada which has a studio in usa we are the only indian channel which is empaneled in white house and every day we deliver news which is relevant to my audience in usa coming from the parliament of usa not every news but what is relevant to them so my reporter is in white house every day why is there every day because that audience of that country needs to know what is happening in that country for him in his language in his understanding unlike the other broadcasters here who just make out one program one bulletin and they put it out to the world i mean how is anybody bothered in uh, edmonton in canada what happened in jonpur i mean they want to know what happened in alberta what happened in canadian parliament what is sonia siddu doing what is justin trudeau saying if i am unable to deliver that news to them in their language and i am unable to explain it to them what is happening in their lives their community around them i'll be irrelevant so content which is relevant to the audiences wherever you reach is the key to your success is key to the future you have to be relevant as a broadcaster as a content creator whatever you are creating has to be relevant gone are the days where you can a, a programming executive can think of an idea somebody can say let's produce this you produce you produced it put it on tv people have to watch it because they can't go anywhere it will not work now people can choose they can decide what they want to see and if something is not relevant to them they'll not watch it biggest of the web series biggest of the news bulletins news channels music channels movie channels will fail if you're relevant you will be there you will keep on getting audience and you will keep on captivating audiences through whatever medium i mean we are in an era where bollywood movies or hollywood movies are premiering on ott on a fee for a day 24 hours the movie is available you can watch it there you want to go and watch it in cinema that is available you want to go and watch it on your laptop it's available content should be available wherever the audience wants to see it and it has to be relevant 
Thank you, Mr. Narayan. Thank you, Mr. Karnik. Thank you, Mr. Thanks, Mr. thanks, Shanta. Thank you. And for that very riveting discussion, and I'm already looking forward to you know what the conversation would be like in six months' time. I mean, this picture is changing so frequently that uh, I'm sure the conversations will be much much wider next time. Uh, you know, our paths cross. So thank you so much for your time and your insights. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. 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 Bye, thanks. Bye. Thanks. Aram, sir. Thanks. Vinay. Bye, thank Mr. Narayan. Bye, Aram, sir. Wonderful to see everyone sharing their bit in this discussion and thank you so much for such a wonderful interaction. Thank you once again.